Welcome back guys to Pokemon Y! After traveling through a route for quite a while, we finally reached our next town, Camfriere Town! And explore the castle within, though of course there's something weird going on in Route 7. Why don't we go to Route 7 too? We will, just before or after more or less. We do a route of the castle, just in case there's any cool items hiding around somewhere, someplace, somehow. I mean, you never know what you might find, something monetarily valuable or something like that, because, you know, we're allowed to pick it up if it's in a Pokeball shape. We're allowed to pick it up indeed. Nothing, ah, okay, maybe something indeed. An escape rope, maybe not that much in terms of monetary value, but that could come in useful later on, you never know. So with an escape rope in our hands, of course they can only be used in caves. Hello, meet other player screen, I know you love me so much. Let's go to Route 7, that's our main thing. That's where we're really heading. Which I'm guessing is the next place along with Torchic in tow, of course, in the Mega Event. Do you know anything about this, sir? Show no castle must look pretty different to you than it does to me. We are different people, after all. Yeah, yeah, okay. Guy, just conversation, what? But something's going on and seems to be over here. Olives, they said they were going this way. I, I was wondering, oh that's, that's a, and another sign that says 8 or 6 or 6, not 8. Good at reading numbers me. Down this way maybe? Wherever this place is. Or maybe not. Hey mister, this way, this way. Or maybe it is. Okay, whatever. You, I know this is an unexpected request, but I need you to take care of my berry filled. Berries are great. One berry can produce more berries. I assure you that you'll love filled work. Uh, sure. Oh great, uh, oh, your name is Alessandri. Thank you, Alessandri! Hooray! That's great, Grandpa! I must teach you how to take care of the field right away! Follow me, please! What, what are we being sucked into here? Plant a berry in this soft soil. Check the soil you want to plant a berry in, and choose a berry from your bag. Oh, I know, I should give you some berries to plant. Maybe you should. We have got a couple. We've got some Oran berries. Well, I might as well give you these berries, too. And we got Petcha berries. Anything else? If you find a berry in front of a huge tree, come here and plant it! Once you plant a berry, the next step is watering. Here, this is for you! We obtained the Sprinklo Tat. <laughs> okay. Check the soil where you planted a berry, and if it's dry, water it. Take good care of it, and you'll get more berries. Well, as you please take good care of the field. I'm so relieved. My back has been killing me lately. I just can't garden like I used to. Do you want to cut or something? We live in the house at the corner of the field. If we want to learn anything more, I don't know if you want to cut the berries or something like that. But still, what's going on here? It's a composter! The instructions are written on the lid. Put three berries in and you can make mulch. Using mulch on the soil before planting a berry helps the berries grow. Do you want to compost some berries to make mulch? Uh, sure. Do we actually have enough berries to uh, do that with? How many were we given? We've given a fair bit of Oran berries and a few Petcha berries as well. Let's use some Petcha berries to make ourselves some mulch. Oh, please, oh, we can choose multiple different types of berries to do it. Okay then, I better choose another Oran berry, because we're going to want to grow a Rost berry. Let's see what comes out from this then. The ultimate rotting machine. You got three bags of boost mulch. Cool, that's nice and all. Uh, and you, uh, maybe just, oh maybe not. Right, so it's soft soil, what do you want to do? We will use the mulch. The boost mulch. Okay, and it doesn't make any sign. Okay, it actually says boost mulch. Right. We're going to plant ourselves an Oran berry. And then let's use the mulch on these two as well, maybe. Oh, I don't really want to be doing this. But yeah, use the mulch. Boost mulch. And then we'll plant one kind of each berry. For now. For now. Roast berry can go in. Do I need to water them as well after the fact? So I need to get them out of my key items or something? Use mulch. Thank you. And then plant the berry. So basically we'll be using berries to make mulch to make berries faster, to make more mulch to make more berries faster. Yada yada yada. Okay, the soil is dry. Would you like to water it? Yes, I'll water it indeed. Get out the sprinkler toad. And you as well. So I can literally just walk along the lot. You water the soil and now it's nice and moist. Brilliant, so I guess we just leave it be. There's quite a lot of places to plant them though. Compost is all around. Right, we planted some berries, sir, but that still doesn't get us what mystery's going on Route 7. 
Oh, welcome, son. I'm not your son yet. Are you marrying to your daughter? That's a bit wrong. Do you have questions about how to take care of berries? No. I'm cool. I watered them. I mulched them. We're really good. One berry can produce more berries. That's the best part of field work. And that's why we put the rawest one in. So while we only have one at the moment, having a lot more probably wouldn't be bad. Right, onwards to Route 7, further forward and... Finding out that there's a Snorlax on the road. Oh, this, what is it? Come on, Karate Guy, kick him out of the way. Show us your moves. Here we go again. It's sleeping so soundly, the end of the world wouldn't wake it. Look, it's practically a mountain, right? It's blocking the road completely. Come now, sir. Use the poker flute. Oh, wait. Do you even have it anymore? Nope. I handed it over. Why? Well, you could say it was taken by the owner of the palace. What? Huh? What's a poker flute? The best thing ever. I love that thing. Basically, the poker flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax, or any sleeping Pokemon, but the poker flute is currently apart from Palace. Oh, that's it? All we need to do is go get it then. She's so happy about it. Come on, Liz, let's go. Apart from Palace is just past Route 6, and maybe at a place like that, we might learn something about Mega Evolution. So it seems we are a team now, though you're not... Come on, not follow me around. Come on, lady. We can do this. Let's go, indeed. Come on, follow me around. Portable Poker Center lady. That's what I remember you as. The portable poker center lady. Oh well, let's head up Route 6 then. By the look of it, get battling once more. Oh, did you just change or do you not actually want to battle? That's weird. He does not want to battle. I use the D-pad, I can get back to my lovely non-skate ways. This place lane actually has two very different faces. One is this easy stroll here and the other is, well, I guess you'll find out about that on your way from the palace. Oh, what's going on on the way back then? Hmm, there's a lot of very deep grass, but, and multiple ways to get back, but not from this side? I don't know, but it seems battles are coming. I bet you thought I was just some unassuming tourist. I happen to be a seasoned battler too. I wasn't thinking of you as anything like that. You were challenged by tourist here. Oh, she's still a tourist. Sent out a Pikachu. We actually have a Pokemon that isn't weak to you anymore. And for once, we're using him at the right time! Rather than Grass Road of Doom. Ivysaur! Get to work, sir! May as well just Vine Whip away! Two Vine Whips will defeat you quite nicely! Haha! Electric does not do much unless you paralyze me as well, and then I'll be very upset. So I've got all these techniques for long, drawn out battles, but to be honest, whip them away! Take the experience and run. I'm guessing, to yeah, to I was about to say, Torchic's probably going to level up quite nicely from this. About to send in a Pidgey. We will switch Pokemon, of course, because we have not exactly got a strength against you. Though I guess we don't really have a strength with anyone exactly. Should we send in Torchic for his first battle? It should be a level 11 on a level of 11, I think. Torchic, go! Even fight, you say? Well, not so even if I just burn you. Now, Torchic, your defense is not that high versus the Pidgey. You still took half of his thing, and Torchic's speed boost raises my speed, so do I attack first this time? Quite a handy talent, but not a finishing blow. There goes my accuracy. And I'm even faster every single turn. Well, that said, just scratch him! Pidgey's down, Torchic wins! And gains a boosted amount of experience as well from being a not our trainer ID type Pokemon. Okay, Psyduck's coming out next, which is a water type, of course, water psychic, so, well. No, not Torchic, I was thinking, where's my Ivysaur in that spot? Bring it out! Go! And we should be able to take Psyduck down pretty easily. Except the effects of the weather disappeared because of Psyduck's Cloud 9. Oh no! What effects? There were none! Fine whip! I'll have that battle won. Good job there, Ivysaur! Another level up for you as well. 
I love Bulbasaur, even though we had a hard start. Look at the nice stats gains. Rest your team gain experience points, and Torchic will of course level up too. Taurus Hiroko was defeated. Excuse me, trainer lady, I'm moving on, but I'm guessing it's not a completely, well, trainer-free path. Why do I travel? Why do I battle? Allow me to demonstrate. I'll just fight you, madam. You look exactly the same. Are you twins? The Zigzagoons first. They have three Pokemon each, in fact. Will we be able to reach the Parfum Palace nice and fast? I hope so, at the very least. Fine Whip! Seems thanks to our evolution, we generally do have a fair bit of power that fine whip now. We're always two shot kills. We really want to get a bit faster, and I always say kills when not a single Pokemon dies. It's all about the knockout. Anyone else gonna level up? No. A Ralts is coming in, which is Psychic Grass type, I think, or something along those lines. So now comes Ivysaur back to the battle comes Torchic. This should work out quite well for you, sir. Burn it! Unless it's just a base psychic type, actually, not psychic grass. That shows my poker knowledge. Double teams being used. Look more like a triple team to me. It's evasiveness rose. My speed goes up too. I still nearly got him with one swipe. Scratch! Nice dodge, sir. Not really. Critical hits all around for Torchic, though. And another level as well. Always going to be a very fast grower, aren't you? Rest your team getting experience points and no one else leveled up? Teacher, <laughs> speed boost still is in effect before the Pokemon's even been brought out yet. A Gulpin was... A poison type, was it not? Which... I'm wondering exactly what kind of bonus I have against that. I could send out one of the big guns, or I could just fight it. Go on, Torchic. Show us your worth. I'm not sure if I will keep Torchic in the main party or that, because I mean, I've got a fire Pokemon in my Fletchinder, so I'm not so sure about using Torchic. I know it's another starter and all, but for that reason, I think I might want to try something else, like a Fairy-type Pokemon or something like that. Maybe an Eevee evolution, because I've heard there's even more since I remember. The last ones I remember coming into was Umbreon and Espeon. And now there's, what, a grass one and a, a, a something, an ice one, I think? I quite like ice Pokemon. I'd like an ice Pokemon or a fairy Pokemon. Something, something different. Steel, maybe, would be good. But I just need to find that perfect partner. And the fact that we've only got five slots as well, but defeated. And Torchic wins. Did you see your Pokemon smile just now? Yes, because they won again. And Torchic's leveling up nice and fast is probably thinking about all the new power. I travel around the world because I just love seeing Pokemon smile. I'm sure. Let's well, stop battling your ones. Is this the Parfum Palace right ahead? Aha, it is indeed. A big... Okay, there's routes either side to take. Maybe they're the ways back, but what's this? Here. About the photo spot. This signboard indicates a photo spot. You can call Phil the photo guy over and he will take photos for you. Do you want to call Phil the photo guy? Yeah, I guess. We'll find out on if this does. Hello, Phil. Hey, what do you want to do? We'll, we'll, we'll take a photo. All right, I'll take a great photo. Let's move to the shooting location. What's going on here? It's me and uh, we can do stuff like zoom and focus, I guess. It's a shaky cam as well. Oh, it's actually moved by motion sensorness. I wouldn't have expected that. Right, so we can just look all around the place. Well, I'll just take a photo of me out on the side, side the gates there. Uh, oh, no, I've even got even more menus now. This is crazy. Right, um, R is to take a picture. I'm just going to take one. Yes, I will save the photo for no reason. I took a picture. Your Nintendo 3DS camera, okay. Weird features. Yay, this is a great shot. Not really. Would you like to give a tip? Uh, what kind of tip? No, no, I'm, I'm cool. 
I don't feel like I can really advise people in the art of Pokemon photography. But still, are you trainers or just tourists? It seems tourists is the answer. Hey trainer, yes you there young man, I'll share an orange berry with you. Forever saying why we need to talk to every single person. Give me goodies, if you feed an orange berry to your Pokemon it will recover some strength. If you let your Pokemon hold an orange berry, you can eat the berry during battle. Hopefully survive as well. Are old buildings more important than people who are alive now? Probably. I don't know. We'll find ourselves an ether though. You never know what would be in the corner of the old building's courtyards. Anyone else want to fight? What are you two speaking about? I wonder how much money it takes to build a palace like that. Hmm, makes me wonder indeed. I'd like to live in that kind of palace. Okay, it looks a bit too gaudy and completely useless to me. The entrance fee will be- what? 1,000 per person? You've got to be kidding, it costs money to go inside? You see, the owner of the palace follows the school of thought that you can never have too much money. Heesh, this is how the rich get richer. Here's your entrance fee. You're quite happy to pay up though. Now, proceeds from the entrance fee help pay for repairing and restoring the palace. Probably. Well, as the gate opens and we're given entry, you wonder what's going to go and take place inside here. We know we're after the poker flute at the very least. Go on then, run off then. Go ask everyone randomly about Mega Evolution. We can't head left and right, it seems. Only straight forwards. Where is it? Where could it be? My Furfru! My beloved little Furfru has disappeared! He disappeared? Hey, Ollis! We should help look! I guess. I mean, if my... If my Pokemon was missing, I'd be sick with worry! I'm sure you would. Right, tell us the identity of your Furfru. My beloved little Furfru has disappeared! I'm just wondering if there's any, like, kind of... Extra bits I need to know than that. Past this door is the pride and joy of the palace, the too vast courtyard. You can see the whole garden from the balcony on the second floor. I don't think I need to, sir. Right, well, let's look for the fur fruit in the too vast courtyard, first and foremost. Which is very vast. Well, where are we getting to here? Okay, you get it. I'll have a look in the back. So she seems to think they've, the, the fur fruit's gone this way as well. Are there going to be, like, tons of trainers in a maze? Tons of gardening trainers, by the look of it. Have you got the same Pokemon as always? Folks with the Bug Badge can use the move Cut to chop down trees with prickly thorns. There's an HM for Cut somewhere in the garden. Ooh, you could take it with you if you'd like. Yeah? Well, I'll look around for that. It doesn't look too hard to find if that's it. HM01 Cut? Ooh, so what? Yellow ones are HMs, which means we've already seen another one as well. We need that. But apart from that, we also need to teach a Pokemon to use it. And so it's time for Zigzagoon finally be useful and learn an ability or Bidoof, whatever. <laughs> whatever his name is, I don't care. He's just that guy. He's the guy that has all my abilities. A move should be deleted. Which move should be forgotten? Indeed, let's find out. Let's just get rid of Growl. It doesn't really require you to have any moves, sir. Bidoof forgot how to use Growl and Bidoof learned to cut. It makes it sound like they lost their voice or something, though. Right, so cut is learned. We can now do that at any time we need to. Let's continue walking through the mazes. There seems to be Pokeballs all around here. Makes you wonder where the fur fruit is going to be. Not much battling, I imagine, is going to take place in a place like this. We can get straight out to the other side, no problem. Hello, sir. I heard in the past the king would invite everyone to the garden for parties. But I think we've already found a certain dog. Hello. Oh, the dog's not going to make it easy for us. Please, don't run away. Please, give me a hand. Well, I'm chasing it down. I've still got, like, loads of maze to explore. That path over there leads to a dead end. Let's split up, chase for a fruit, and corner it in there. I'll keep from getting away, so pick a, stop, a spot for me to stand. Okay, somewhere like... It's strategy. Yes, 
Or over there, yes, I, I get ya. Let me know when you've decided where I should stand. If the two of us work together, we can solve this puzzle and catch Furfru. I'm sure. Right, if you'd like to stand here then. Yes, around this place is fine. And then I'll come from the other side. That didn't work half as well though, I thought it would. Especially because you're running this way. So if I come from this side, it's going to run downwards. Is there any way to steer it directly towards a path I want to? Because all I'm doing is chasing a dog around and around and around and around. Right, um... Should I be looking which way it's facing or something like that? No, it always seems to run the same directions. So with that said, oh, there's no one I think. This is, is a puzzle. We have to corner it where the path leads to a dead end, right? The path leads to a dead end. Hmm. Maybe I should wait by the entrance. Yes, maybe you should for the time being, because we need to get you further up. But this puzzle is going to be puzzling. So join me next time, guys, for the capture of this dastardly hound. Bye-bye.